Breaking news, the suspect accused of gunning down 10 people at a supermarket in Buffalo faces a judge. Why authorities say they believe this was a racist hate crime. Good evening, I'm Jessica Moore. 13 people in total were shot inside that grocery store. Police tell us 11 of the victims are African American, two are white. This all unfolding at a store in a predominantly black neighborhood in Buffalo. CBS 2's Leah Mishkin has been following the developments all evening. She's live in the newsroom with the latest. Leah? Jessica Buffalo's police commissioner says the 18 year old suspect traveled hours to commit this attack. The FBI says it's investigating this as a racially motivated hate crime. New video shows the 18 year old suspect Peyton Gendron in court. The Conklin, New York resident arraigned on first degree murder pled not guilty. Carries with it a sentence of life without parole. We are now investigating terrorism charges, other murder charges along with working with our partners in the federal government uh, so that they can perhaps file charges as well. Oh my God. The scene unfolded around 2.30 Saturday afternoon. Buffalo's police commissioner says the suspect was wearing armored tactical gear when he arrived at the supermarket on Jefferson Avenue. The individual exited his car and engaged four individuals. He shot four people in the parking lot. The suspect, police say, made his way inside the store. He was doing this when I seen him. You can see inside the store. And so I saw him doing this. And I'm like, I don't got a phone on me. So I'm like, somebody, I'm screaming, called up, somebody called the police. Shooting a total of 13 people, according to Buffalo police, the majority of the victims doing their Saturday grocery shopping. This is the worst nightmare that any community can face. The depth of pain uh, that families are feeling and that all of us are feeling right now cannot even be explained. Buffalo's police commissioner says a total of 10 people died, including a security guard who was a retired Buffalo police officer being hailed a hero for his actions. Engaged the suspect, fired multiple shots, struck the suspect, but because he had heavily armed, uh, armored plating on, uh, that bullet had no round. The suspect engaged our retired officer and he was ultimately uh, shot and deceased at the scene. Governor Kathy Hochul, who arrived in Buffalo Saturday evening, calling the suspect a white supremacist. Who has engaged in an act of terrorism and will be prosecuted as such. Out of the 13 victims, 11 are African American, two are white. This was pure evil. It was straight up racially motivated hate crime from somebody outside of our community, outside of the city of Good Neighbors, as the mayor said, coming into our community and trying to inflict that evil upon us. And the NYPD says out of caution, they have increased patrol at various locations. Jessica. Leah, thank you.